Nobody could have expected this sort of start under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Maybe, you know, the good feeling that comes in with getting a new manager, an ex-player of the club, a genuine legend of Manchester United. But you would have thought that feeling would have disappeared after the first few games. But Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has just won his seventh consecutive game as Manchester United manager. And the good feeling is continuing to bubble and grow throughout the football club. You know, I hope I'm not overstepping the mark when I say this, but in that game against Brighton, Manchester United didn't score until Paul Pogba expertly converted a penalty, shortened his run-up, and an excellent penalty from Pogba. But prior to that, going, you know, Manchester United named their first unchanged eleven since December 2017. And that's because things are going right for Manchester United right now. Solskjaer knows his team. He knows his back four. He knows his starting attacking trio of Lingard, Martial and Rashford. And he's not going to change it. And I felt in that first half that a feeling that I haven't felt since Fergie was here. And that was a sort of confident expectancy that in that half, or in this game, sorry, Manchester United were going to score. At Old Trafford, Manchester United were going to score. There's no questions about it. It's a case of when and not if. And I, I haven't felt, you know, even when we had a good run of form under Mourinho, you still didn't know what Manchester United would turn up in that game. But today, I knew what Manchester United would turn up. I knew the exact sort of style we were going to play. I knew exactly how we would play, who would be where, what players would be in what positions. And it's not a predictability in the wrong way, it's a predictability in the right way. I know how Solskjaer, Solskjaer sorry, is going to set this team up and how we're going to play. And it, it worked. You know, maybe in that last 15, 20 minutes, that was uncomfortable. Brighton got one back and United went into their shell a little bit. We lost a bit of our attacking spark. But it didn't matter because we had two goals and ultimately came out on top and 2-1 victors and seven wins on the spin for Solskjaer. At what point now, I need to ask you this question, at what point do we turn around and say, Solskjaer for manager? Because his first few games, as I said, you expected him to sort of ride the wave. Oh, I've won a few games. Good. Look, United are back. Oh, fucking fantastic. And then we go and lose a game and the bubble gets burst. But the bubble didn't burst against Spurs. The bubble got bigger. And that 1-0 win against Spurs, an excellent first 45 minutes, a tactical first 45 minutes, and a second first, a second half, sorry, where it was backs to the wall, United defending for their life, De Gea having a stormer, and we won 1-0. And today against Brighton, 2-0 up, it could have been more. I think we had more than 20 shots against Brighton. Jesus Christ. We should have and could have scored more than two in that game. But we let Brighton back in. And... That's the feeling you're always going to get with this Manchester United team, no matter how good they're playing under Solskjaer or anybody else, is we've got a weak spot. We've got a weak spot in our defence. It's like when you're in a game and you're playing a boss and it sort of identifies where the weak spot is. United's weak spot is defence and you know that straight away. And it was nearly our undoing towards the end because Brighton did have their opportunities. But, you know, looking at that performance, you know, Marcus Rashford once again. Christ, it's good to watch him play under Solskjaer. Rashford, when he burst through against Midtjylland and against Arsenal, four goals in two games, you knew we had a special, special player in our hands. And he continued that, scoring on his Manchester United Premier League debut, his Manchester United Europa League debut, his England debut. Debuts left, right and centre. Marcus Rashford has stepped up to the biggest stage in front of him and taken it. Absolutely and naturally. And today, again, he did that. That goal, wonderful work from Diogo Dalot down the left, who I actually think Diogo Dalot might have played better than the left than he does on the right-hand side. Let me know what you think, but he certainly played better than Ashley Young today, who had a bit of a bit of a stinker as far as I'm concerned. But Marcus Rashford, that touch, that finish, sublime. And Paul Pogba, you know, he got a goal, could have easily had two or three, had real opportunities in that game. But it didn't come back to haunt Manchester United because we had two, we held on to it in the end. And one thing I really need to point out here, probably one of my biggest talking points from the whole game is how, how much of a difference do you see watching Victor Lindelof play for Manchester United now than even early this season against Brighton or last season? 
in his first year at Manchester United, Victor Lindelof seems like a completely and utterly different player altogether. That pass that he swung over the top for Martial when he nearly scored in the first half was a thing of beauty. Victor Lindelof really is finding some sort of confidence under Solskjaer that he never had under Jose Mourinho. And he was in good form under Mourinho. But Solskjaer is unlocking something else entirely. And I'm loving what I'm seeing. And for the first time in a long, long time, I've got genuine belief in a centre-back at Manchester United. And that says a lot about how I feel about Man United at the moment. Things are just going right. We're all going in the right direction. We had an unchanged 11 for the first time since December 2017. We came out on top of it there despite a nervy end to the game. But it was a nervy end against Spurs and we came out on top of that as well. Make that habit, United, if you want to. You want to sit deep, but you win the game in the end? I'm absolutely fine with that. But today, Marcus Rashford, standout player for me, alongside Victor Lindelof. Paul Popper played well as well. But over the team, you know, Ashley Young, I think, was a bit weak at right back. I think our midfield today of Herrera and Matic, I think a lot of the game passed them by. So I don't think they played that poorly. It's just that United played elsewhere. Lingard had a great chance from a wonderful Rashford cross, which he missed. Would Sanchez have missed that? I don't know. But with Lingard playing a little bit under what we're seeing from Martial and Rashford. Maybe we'll see Sanchez coming back into the team sooner rather than later. But I personally wouldn't change a thing. United have won seven from seven. Solskjaer is riding high. And as I said earlier in this video, I just had this feeling there in that first half that I haven't had since Fergie was manager of United. And that was just a confident expectancy that United were going to come out on top at Old Trafford. And we did that against a good Brighton team. Happy fucking days let me know what you think about that match in the comments below but seven wins from seven in his first seven games Solskjaer is breaking records left right and center and the longer this goes on the harder it's going to be to see anybody else in charge of Manchester United next season